quarterbacks. The, the coaches need to see all these quarterbacks until we make an informed decision. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. No takers yet. No. <laughs> Why is he even saying this? Oh, we haven't heard from anybody. <laughs> no. Phone lines are open, everybody. Anybody, any takers for Ralton? Nobody wants it. They're going to end up cutting it, right? There's just no way. Well, that, yeah, that's going to be the. Sort of attaching a draft pick to him. Remember if, the Brock if you Osweiler could, if, deal? If, you, if we could choose where the quarterbacks go, I would choose Baker stays in Tampa, Justin Fields, Atlanta, Russell Wilson to Pittsburgh. I don't agree with Merrill Hodge. I don't think Kenny Pickett's the answer in the AFC or that division. Fourth best quarterback in that division. And then I think Kirk Cousins, I I, I don't think Minnesota's going to be viable in that division as good as Green Bay and Detroit is with a rookie quarterback. So do, do you bring Kirk Cousins back and draft a quarterback later? Go get a Penix, but get him later. But if I could choose where Russell went, I think Pittsburgh's great. Okay, well, wait a minute. You named a lot of quarterbacks and you left... Uh... The Las Vegas Raiders off the list. You should be asked. Um, mm. the I don't know that Russell be Wilson would stay in the division and go to the Raiders. Should um, Chicago Bears but they're going to have to get a quarterback. I mean, Fields could be in play there. Okay. I, I, I'm not sure. Right. Well, that's the inference. Anytime that's we hear it's a slam dunk. Oh, yeah, everybody thinks Justin Fields to Atlanta, Russ to Pittsburgh. You know we get curveballs a lot. Yes, of course we do. That's great. That's what we love about the sport. Give me a, give me a Russell Wilson curveball. Come on. I know you got one. I'll give you one. This Las, is probably Las Vegas. It's not bad, but it's in the division. Well, I think that, hot... that's why, because the feeling is we'll be better than Denver. We get payback at Peyton. But you keep saying if Fields goes to Atlanta, he's probably the best quarterback in the division or in the mix. He's in the mix. Why wouldn't Russell Wilson go there? Well, I do, but I don't know if Raheem Morris. I think I, my takeaway is Russell is established. When you get Russell, you get all the good and the bad. Justin Fields is a young man that needs he's like a he's like a four dollar stock that can you turn him into a twelve dollar stock and I think Raheem Morris thinks he can kind of mold Justin Fields to be with all these young guys and these young guys grow together now I can make an argument that bringing a veteran with this offensive line um, I Atlanta's funny you know Atlanta's either really interesting or lousy like I, my whole life it's like you've had these really good teams and they evaporate a year later is I could argue Russell, Atlanta, Russell, Pittsburgh, and I, I can make an argument both, and they both feel fine with me. Um, but I, my feeling is there's some immaturity with some of the Steelers' offensive players. It feels like it's been like this for 10, 12 years. And I think Russell brings in maturity, commitment. I don't feel immaturity with Atlanta. I just feel like they haven't had the right coach and the right quarterback. I don't think they need an injection of maturity in Atlanta. They just need a better quarterback. Pittsburgh needs to grow up. Tomlin has no feel for offense. Give Russell Wilson the offense. He's a grown-up. He'll hold those young guys accountable, and Pittsburgh is stacked with talent. So That's all a- things being equal, well, yeah. they, the health checks out for both, and you are the Atlanta Falcons. Russell Wilson well, or Russell, Justin Fields? Well, Russell's better, but he's expensive. Now, if well, I get him for – if I get, Denver pays the – They have to. I mean, they're going to have to, right? They're going to – Russell's better. So you take Russ. That's where Fields gets interesting. Well, it's, I, it's Raheem. Yeah, I mean, Russell is better than Justin Fields. If you're Raheem Morris, who gives you a better chance to win and maybe win that's the a, division? It's a, that's a very good argument. It's a very good argument. I th- Okay, I'll, I'll put it this way. Russell is more necessary in Pittsburgh. Justin Fields isn't refined. No. Defensive coach. He could go He could go you, man overboard. You could also say the Atlanta guys are also young. The but they're not. Guys, they need a veteran. Not, they need a veteran. Y- B. John Robinson's a grown-up. Uh, Drake London. 22. But, no, but I'm saying they're young players. But mature. Are uh, It seems to me more mature. They just need a better quarterback. And Justin Fields and mm. Russell are better than Desmond Ritter. Pittsburgh needs a grown-up in the room because Raheem Morris does have a feel for offense. Tomlin doesn't. So give Mike a guy that can run the offense, a Super Bowl quarterback, and Deontay Johnson, Pickens. Those guys are complaining. They're It's like bring down the heat, bring I, down the noise. I, you know we like bargains, whether it's gambling, stock yeah. market, whatever. I think just uh, Justin Fields is good. I think Russell Wilson's a great bargain after the Broncos cut him. Just great, great value. All right. uh, next up, the Cowboys. we got to keep talking about the Dallas Cowboys because yeah. they are America's team. Um, there's some culture issues swirling after that playoff loss to the Packers. Stephen Jones, the owner, is confident in the team's leadership and has no doubt they have the right people running things in Dallas. 
you worry about the culture on no, the team, I don't. entitlement or anything like no. that? I think, uh, you know, from the Oregon. USC's talented quarterback um, is talking. I think he has 94 touchdowns and 13 interceptions in three years of college football. Yeah, I think he's kind of talented. I think he's going to be good. And the Bears are going to draft him, and they should. Um, so finally, he's talking. Pete Tamil, uh, been covering college football forever. Great, great writer. Um, he basically, Caleb Williams said, if I get drafted by the Bears, I'll be excited. If they trade the pick and I get drafted by somebody else, I'm just as excited. Speaking about Chicago, they've got a talented team, a talented offense and defense. I'm not pushing any agenda. I'm excited for whatever comes. So this is precisely what his camp told me three weeks ago. Uh, they're going to go where drafted. They're not going to do an Eli Manning, a John Elway. Uh, privately, does Caleb's camp have concerns? Yeah, anybody with a functional brain would. It's a poorly run franchise. Go ask Aaron Rodgers what it's like to join a circus. They have the poorest owner. They have a tenuous front office, a lame duck head coach. They haven't had a top 10 offense in the decade. Sorry, Chicago, there's concerns from his dad, from Caleb, from his agent, if he gets one. They haven't won a playoff game in 13 years. I mean, just think how gifted Trevor Lawrence was. Number one high school and college quarterback. Go look at his three years with the Jaguars. Been an absolute roller coaster. Justin Herbert. There's a reason Jim Harbaugh took the job in L.A. Justin Herbert's the reason. Four years, no playoff wins. Why? The culture of the Chargers has always been disappointment. You ever notice that many of the best quarterbacks joined really solid organizations? Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes. By the way, Josh Allen. They made the playoffs with Tyrod Taylor before he got there. Jordan Love. See how he's flourishing? See the support? Brock Purdy, out of college, joined excellence. It matters. Caleb Williams is great. If you gave him a list of 32 teams he would go to, sorry, Chicago, you would not be in the top five, but he's going to make the best of it. I do think he is substantially more accurate and more talented than Justin Fields, and you restart the clock. You would, I mean, if you don't pick Caleb Williams number one, Drake May's been too inconsistent with his accuracy to take number one. Jaden Daniels and J.J. McCarthy are smaller and thinner players. Bo Nix has a much lower ceiling, and Michael Penix has an injury history. It's a no-brainer. Draft him, get out of the way, and figure out a way to protect him with your offensive line. Load up more draft capital and protection up front. But he is finally talking. He is saying what he said to uh, his camp said to me three weeks ago. They're going to play nice. They're going to go for it. I'm excited. I want to be positive. Uh, his camp did tell me three weeks ago the one thing they truly, truly like about Chicago is that it's a city that's loud and cares about football. You go to Jacksonville, they can tarp off the upper deck. You go to some of these places, they just don't care as much. Chicago cares. San Francisco cares. Philadelphia cares. He wants to go to an organization that if he fails or he struggles, they care as much as he do. Uh, he does. And he feels like Chicago is a city that's loud, will hold people accountable. Michael Jordan, you know, go look at the history of Chicago. They've had some success, and it's a city of passion, some legacy, and he's, he's excited. But it wouldn't be no reasonable person who's a quarterback would pick Chicago first, all things being equal. J-Mac with the news. No, 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 no. Turn on the news. This is the Herdline News. All right, let's stick with another quarterback, Russell Wilson. Got a lot of drama swirling around the Denver Sean Payton stuff. Uh, Sean Payton made some comments. According to uh, Broncos GM George Patton, a change in scenery for Russ probably won't come via trade. Mm. You know, I haven't heard anything um, from any teams, you know, so, you know, we'll see. We had to get through our draft meetings. You know, we had to get through our free agent meetings and evaluate with what we have. And, and, and so we just want to get through the 